Thanks for joining us for 7 News at 10. We're following some big stories tonight, including weather and a deadly shooting. But first, we want to update you on these runoff election results. Yeah, Governor Henry McMaster has won the GOP nomination in the gubernatorial race. He faced off against upstate businessman John Warren. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey is joining us live this evening from Columbia, where McMaster's camp is located. Georgia Reed. Yes, this watch party has turned into a celebration once those polls closed and those final results came in, declaring Governor Henry McMaster as the Republican candidate for governor in November. Now, Governor McMaster, when he took the stage just a little bit ago, spoke about the victories here in the state, especially when it deals with the economy and bringing $6 billion worth of investments into South Carolina. Now, Governor Henry McMaster has been working towards this day for several months with his bus tour stopping in several cities across the state. And of course, that iconic visit from President Donald Trump yesterday. Now, during his speech, President Trump talked about the characteristics he liked about Governor McMaster, including his ability to fight with elegance. What a great team for South Carolina. But ladies and gentlemen, the team that we have in South Carolina is a big team. It's a broad team. And I want to thank all those candidates who've run. I especially want to thank John Warren. He ran a good, strong race, and I salute that military service. As you heard, Governor Henry McMaster thanking all of his opponents, including John Warren, who ran a very tough race against the incumbent governor. Now, Governor Henry McMaster says all of the Republicans will have to pull together to make sure they're successful in November when it comes down to that ballot for governor. Live in Columbia, Georgia Reed Godfrey, 7 News. So, Georgia Reed, from those you have talked with at the watch party, what do they say made the difference? Was it incumbency? Was it the visit from President Trump? What helped McMaster get this win tonight? Well, for, for the few supporters that I did speak to, they said for them, it was all about his success rate so far. Even though Governor Henry McMaster has been in office since Nikki Haley left, Supporters here say he's been doing great things for the state, including that boost in economy. So for them, it was all about making sure the state continues on that success right. All right, Georgia Reed Godfrey live from the McMaster camp in Columbia tonight. Thank you, Georgia Reed. And 7 News is covering the John Warren campaign. Our Diane Lee live tonight in downtown Greenville, where the Warren campaign uh, has been located this evening with reaction on the results. Diane. Yeah, well, Tom and Amy, I'm here at the Poinsett Hotel. In this room, the Warren camp has pretty much cleared out at this point. Obviously, no celebration for John Warren tonight. But by all accounts, even though he didn't win, he made some pretty impressive gains in this race. This was a man who really had no name recognition in most of the state when he entered in February. In April, early polling showed that he had just 1% support. And two weeks ago, there were 28% support in the runoffs, which brought him to today. He made it all the way till close to 50% tonight, but unfortunately not enough to bring him a win against McMaster for him. Now, while tonight's results were not what we had hoped, we started a movement in South Carolina, and that movement is bigger than any one election. Conservatives across this state have united, and they want to take their government back from the special interests, the political insiders, and that message is worth repeating for years to come. And Warren now will go back to concentrating full time on running his billion dollar company in Greenville that he started after serving in the military. And political analysts do say after his showing this evening, we likely haven't seen the last of this 39 year old upstate native. Live in Greenville, Diane Lee, back to you. Yeah, Diane, I'm curious. You got the chance to speak to the supporters. Disappointed, I am sure. But did you hear any buzz about, you know, he's coming back, it's not over yet, that they want him to, to stay in politics? I think the people that put their support behind him really believed in his message. And Amy, as you know, he, he did a, a great deal of spending of his own money to get his message out there, uh, really a message of trying to fight corruption at the state house level. And people do believe in that. They do want to see him return. I actually even heard, Amy, one of the voters say, I'm here. I'm a huge Trump supporter. You know me. I would never go against what Trump would want. Of course, Trump putting his uh, backing behind Henry McMaster. And she said, 
said, yet I'm here today because I really believe in John Warren. So you have a lot of people throwing their support behind him and hoping that he will make a political return. Well, that is our Diane Lee with the campaign tonight. Thank you.